There it is. All right, then we're going to connect. Uh, it's on COM19 because that's the COM port we have here that we set up. We're going to hit connect. You can hit read if you want to to find out some stuff about the device. Next, we're going to go to security for Verizon phones. The SPC is six zeros. We're going to send that to the phone to unlock it. Then we're going to go and send our NV items. Yes, we just sent that. I'm just going to put uh, my phone number on here. I know I have it somewhere. Maybe on Android? There's my phone number. Honestly, if you call, I might not answer. Alright, it's been sent. Phone sends have been changed. You don't need to send the uh, mode reset to reboot your device, and that'll probably cause a problem with the serial port. And just go ahead and go over to QPST after you've done that. There's our Droid 2. Gonna read from the phone. I usually don't modify things that I don't know what they are. You don't have to know what every single thing does in QPST to program the phone. Reading from droids, droid X's, droid 2's can be really slow. There's um some other drivers and another way to connect but I found this to be the most reliable way. I remember one tutorial said uh, this is the point where you go out and have a smoke. Any of you guys wonder what's up with me in this uh, video? It's probably because of the stuff I've been drinking. It keeps me awake. So I can make tutorials for you guys. If you're not a member of MyCricketForum.com, go over there, become a member. There's a bunch of uh, additional services we offer to members and even some more to supporting members. The more you go there, the more we'll be able to put out new content. If we get a little money off of advertising or something, we can buy new products and try to get them uh, to flash over. really takes a long time. I'm losing precious seconds out of my life. I should be working or making lunch or something. I don't know if this is the one I started yesterday or not. If it is, I drank the whole thing. That's two servings. That's too much crack. You think it was real late right now or something? I'm drinking all this crack and stuff. It's only uh twelve forty one in the afternoon. Alright, there we go. Let's see me. Again I'm putting my phone number in here. Don't call me. I'm an airborne paratrooper. I get disgruntled sometimes. Nah, just kidding. I'd probably answer. Or maybe not. Maybe if you left a message or sent me a text, I would. Other than that, I'd just use Mr. Call Block on you. Yes, that's my MIN. Sure, MIN right there. 
you got to enter your directory number first and then your MIN. If I enter my MIN and then directory number, it's just going to rewrite the MIN with this number and you'll have to do it again. MIN always entered second. This is where you put your PRL. We're going to use my hybrid one. Seems to work well. Yes, yeah, some people have notified me that they can't click that box. That's fine. Obviously, I can't click it either. There we go. Um, with this device, you can use mode plus simp. You won't get any uh, errors from that by using uh, mode plus uh, simple. It only has one profile on it, so because we flashed over the NV items, he gave it the mycricket.com uh, domain. Put my phone number in there. I just copied the whole thing because you'll need that a few places. I zero this out all the time. Just hold down the zero button. Enter text string. Cricket is the password. Cricket. PPP config um. I'm gonna replace that with my number at my cricket. Replace the tethered NAI with that. Password cricket. We're gonna click this box right here. So on this device, I'm just gonna have both of these. Um. Then the AN tab. Put the username at domain. Cricket. Right to phone. All right, I'm not changing the ESNs on my account over to this new phone. So I won't be able to make a call or receive a text. However, as soon as it writes, which is another slow process, I will get internet because you can share data profiles on multiple devices. That's how we get the hotspots on the internet. I hope no one from Cricket's watching this. Or maybe they don't care. You still only have the uh, one gigabyte limit before it throttles you down, so... You know what, Cricket? We're just getting our one gigabyte limit. That's all we asked for. Once it sends all of this, it's going to reboot. When you're sending it, you'll notice you'll have the... Uh, a little cross out on the signal there. Star Wars, wow, cool. It was Darth Vader. So you Vader haters out there, they got Death Star. like magic. I guess after this we're going to set up the MMS. That error is okay. Means everything was sent to the phone. There's two methods to do the 45 plan. Um, method one, which might work, is getting any cut, making a shortcut to prox activities, proxy settings, and then sending it the address to wap.mycricket.com, port 8080. Then you can delete that shortcut, which was put on your desktop. Um, the second one is what I prefer is U2NL, U2NL and auto start.sh. And then you have to download the auto start APK or program from uh, the market or just push it over to the device using the ADB and install it like we did last time with any cut and Z4 root. Here's my Droid 2 on Gingerbread.
Now since this one isn't on data, this should be picking up the data signal pretty quick. But it's not. Up oh, there it is, 3G. Um, is it star 611? Your account could not be validated. Please contact customer services. Well, that's a cricket guy. It can't be validated because I didn't put this ESN on my account. Browser. This is not on Wi Fi. See, it's going to websites already. Load up my favorite website. Favorite website in the world. Anyways, we know that's mycricketform.com. Anyways, let's set up the MMS. Use any cut. Make a shortcut to activity. APNs. Let's go send it to our home screen. There it is. Actually, unplug it. Since we're on the 55 plan, we're not going to set the proxy to port. Right, it's freezing up, but what you would do here is set a uh, username, which is your number at mycricket.com. Password is cricket. Server is wap.mycricket.com. MMSC is what you see there, but instead of vtext, it's mycricket. So mms.mycricket.com forward slash servlets uh, forward slash mms. And then below that, You can see it on mine. MMS proxy, don't set it. Set the MMS port to 8080, authentication, PAP or CHAP. And you can write in APN type down there if you want. Mine set to default, comma, MMS, comma, done, which is dial-up networking. All right, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, I don't think we're going to make a video for the $45 plan. Just uh, follow the tutorial. You'll have to push those files over using uh, ADB commands. Or you can use a program like Root Explorer. Mount it uh, read-writable, those directories. Put the U2NL and autostar.sh on the root of your SD card and just copy and paste them in the correct uh, places. And when you reboot it, maybe a couple times, uh, you'll get uh, super user permission to pop up, and I'll ask for uh, permission for auto start. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to grant that. Make sure you allow it. And uh, every time when you reboot and it says auto start has been granted permissions, that is when your uh, internet will start to work. Make sure you have downloaded uh, the auto start application from the market or installed it um, just by putting it on your SD card and installing it or using the ADB install. Sorry that this uh, video was probably not even close to as good as the other ones. Uh, maybe the other ones weren't good either, but hopefully that helps you out in some way. Be sure to visit mycricketforum.com.